So this was a um, proof of concept, uh, phase one, two clinical trial. We took uh, 12 patients who had highly refractory immune thrombocytopenia. So all of the patients in this trial had received two or more prior therapeutic interventions. Um, it actually turns out um, that the uh, median uh, range of uh, prior treatments was 4.5, varying between 1 and 10. Um, the median duration of a disease at screening was 4.7 years. These patients had received a variety of prior therapies, including 75% uh, of the patients had, uh, had an inadequate response to uh, TPO receptor agonists. 66.7% had had rituximab. 58% had had IV IG, and 33% um, of the patients had had a prior splenectomy. The patients received a weight-based dose um, of sutimlimab therapy, which is a uh, anti-C1S monoclonal antibody. And we postulated that in these patients with very refractory ITP, there may be a complement mediated mechanism of platelet clearance. And what we found um, was that in fact, um, patients who responded had a very rapid response to the anti-complement therapy. Um, overall in the clinical trial, we had 41.7% of our patients that did have a response. 33% of those patients actually had a complete response. All of the responses were durable, and the time to best response being less than two days was seen again in 33% of these patients. There were also an additional three patients who did not fulfill the criteria for response, but were considered responders by investigators, meaning they had a clinically meaningful and sustained increase in their platelet count compared to baseline and no bleeding or need for rescue therapy or concomitant ITP medication. I think one of the things that's important to note about this particular clinical trial is that none of these patients received any rescue or were on any additional ITP therapeutic intervention. So these responses were seen with anti-complement therapy only. We did not see uh, any um, untoward or unexpected uh, safety signals. So overall, this is a very well tolerated and safe uh, medication to administer to patients. So it's the first clinical evidence that the classical complement pathway really plays an important role in ITP pathophysiology. In this group of patients with highly refractory ITP, including many who had previously received um, TPO receptor agonist, rituximab, and splenectomy, our interim data cut shows that sutinlimab resulted not only in a rapid, but a sustained increase in platelet count. The patient's mean platelet count increased to over 50,000 by day one and was maintained for the duration of the study. As I mentioned before, 41.7% of this highly refractory population achieved a durable response on sutimlimab as monotherapy. The therapeutic effect of sutimlimab was sustained during the long-term extension to week 79 in part B of this trial. So these results really provide additional evidence for the clinical heterogeneity of ITP and a really strong rationale for further investigation of the potentially therapeutic effects of anti-C1S in patients with ITP.